The Offshore Wind Roadmap for Sri Lanka, funded by the World Bank Energy Sector Management Assistance Programme and PROBLU was officially launched yesterday at the Power and Energy Ministry with the participation of Minister Kanchana Wijesekara. In line with the government's goal to have 70% of its electricity generated by renewable energy sources by 2030, and achieve carbon neutrality in electricity generation by 2050, the roadmap has been prepared by the World Bank to utilize a currently untapped resource of offshore wind. The objective of this roadmap is to provide strategic analysis and advice on the role that offshore wind can play in Sri Lanka's future energy mix, analysis on the key opportunities and challenges, and recommendations on next steps in terms of policy formulation, planning, and developing bankable projects. This roadmap has been created by the World Bank considering the possibility of installing 1 gigawatt offshore wind capacity by 2030, reducing annual carbon emissions to 1 million metric tons, and increasing the capacity to 4 gigawatts by 2050. Utilizing Sri Lanka's immense potential of offshore wind will be vital in achieving net zero targets, renewable energy targets and energy exports, Minister of Power and Energy noted. The discussions at the event highlighted the significant socio-economic and climate benefits that offshore wind could provide the country and the opportunities and challenges for developing offshore wind in Sri Lanka. The officials further discussed the recommendations and next steps to deploy offshore wind in the country within this decade at the event. British High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, country representatives of the World Bank and the International Finance Corporation, Secretary of the Ministry and officials of Sustainable Energy Authority, Electricity Board and other affiliated government institutes participated personally while members of the World Bank and the World Wind Energy Council participated online in the main event at the Ministry. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.